Hello everybody and welcome back to Pochonomics. Last time we had our last competition and oh boy that one was crazy. We got through it by the skin of our teeth. Honestly we got really lucky. If the cards had been any different I'm pretty sure we would have been over and done for but we made it through. We survived and that means we're moving on to the next competition and we gotta be on this one especially after the last one. No bad smells, nothing like that if we can help it. We have to try and get a good one. And Oswald is back, that's really good, I'm glad he's back. And now we know he's our uncle, well we knew the whole time. It was, he, he wasn't as slick as he thought he was. But now we know and there's no secrets between us so we can be friends about it. I feel so refreshed this morning. I have to admit it's good to be back. And I come bearing gifts. See here, your license upgrade has arrived. Yay, but I don't know if I want that. <laughs> that means I have to learn a new potion. Check it out, so official looking. What, all else aside, we really do make a good team, Uncle Oswald. Well, I could get used to the sound of that. Now, let's start fresh by looking ahead. I have the details for the next competition right here. Ah, I see our vandal has stuck, struck again. Who? not me, what? Shark boy? Although in this case, I tend to think it's an improvement. Now, take careful note of the new potion requirements. You don't want to be unprepared. These competitions are getting harder every time. Indeed they are. But here's a good sign. An early customer. Eager to be our first of the day. Or it's our new rival. Oh, yep, new rival. Hello? Can I help you? You? You are the champion I've heard tell of? I've been called worse. And you are? You wish to know my name? I suppose you'll need it. So that when asked who brought you to ruin, you may provide an answer. Call me the end of all your endeavors. Call me the mistress of mercantilism. Call me Anubia. I'd rather call your parents. My parents have been dust for a millennia and I do not mourn them. Did you murder them? So go ahead, make your feeble jokes, by which I mean your words and your potions, both. I, I have an island to conquer. And the best part is, as I grind Rafta beneath my heel. As I bleed its people for every half penny and silver nugget. They will thank me for it. And they will love me. And they will forget you wherever concern. Okay, yikes. Very aggressive. And considering we had a mafia boss before this, that is quite aggressive. I'm guessing she's my next competitor. You'd think there'd be an age restriction. Children always give me the creeps. But something about her was especially sinister. I'll do some digging, see what I can learn. Uh, the, the fact that she freaking said she was gonna, like, bury people under their heel and then they'd thank her for it wasn't enough? <laughs> and you? Well, you'd better get to work. Oh, why? I don't wanna work. Okay, what have we got? Uh, acid rain, belated effects of a semi-recent acid rainstorm are still being felt across various biomes, with acid-infused slimes and fruits turning solid ground to slag. Slime ingredients, fruit ingredients, and ore ingredients will cost more. Minor inconvenience, a pickaxe shortage has made it harder for heroes to collect rocks, minerals, metals, and to pierce the exoskeletons of monstrous insects. Mineral ingredients, ore ingredients, and bug ingredients will cost more. Everything is costing more. Too cool for school. An unreasonable cold snap has left cool substances less appealing than usual. Increase in entertainer customers. Bad sensation trait has more impact. Good sensation trait has more impact. So much already. And I'm so stressed out. Maybe we should take today and maybe the day after that to just hang out with people and breathe. We, I think we will because we also need to pick up ingredients and stuff. But before we do that... Do I have any potions? Oh, I do! I can, I can, uh... You know what, we'll put these in here. Because we need to de-stress. How are our slimes doing? None of them are eating anything right now. That's okay. We'll give them stuff later. First things first, what's our new potions? Oh god. Superior Silence Cure. Superior Tolerance Potion, and a Superior Insight Enhancer, okay. So, I'm gonna look up how many Magnums Superior is, just so I know what we need to reach, and if we need to upgrade a Cauldron. 
Okay, so the superior silence cure is going to be two green, one yellow, one purple. And then we have the tolerance potion, which is one blue, one purple, which might be the easiest one for us to start with. And then the insight enhancer, four, three, three. So we got to try and make that. Um, but I, let me check, do we, what can our things make? We might need to upgrade these. Oh, we definitely need to upgrade these. None of these reach up. I looked it up, we need at least 580 magnums in order to actually make a superior potion at all. So today is going to be hanging out and buying stuff. We either need to get a new cauldron or upgrade one of these ones. So let me just very quickly replace these ones. And let's travel. First let's pick up all of our items and then... We'll go to Muktuk. We probably can't buy yet because we need to go back to our place and actually like get the money and stuff. But I figure we'll grab stuff, go back to our place, get the money, go out again and buy and try and hang out with people. We need to relax. Um, so let's start with Muktuk. Let's see what we can do. Um, come and see what is new. Okay, this will be 295, 465. 275. Uh, 465 is not enough. Do you have new? Oh, you do! Okay. 675, 640. We need one of these, so we need at least 1730. So it's time to- oh my god! You also have these! That's cool! We'll worry about those in a second. We'll worry about the barrels later, honestly. Uh, what we really need right now is these cauldrons. And honestly, I don't know how much the, uh, barrels would actually help me. But yeah, today's episode is probably just gonna be getting the cauldron if we can't make all the money right now, then we need to bring up more, more potions. I'll come back and hang out later, I promise. The quest is a success! Here are the spoils! Nice! Ooh, really good. We need as much as we can get right now. Uh, and who did I send out? I sent out Zid, right? I believe so. I conquered the swamp, so can we be done with mud for a while? Oh man, that's really good. Oh yeah, I have to decorate stuff. Thank you. Alright, time to go back home. Let's see how much money we got. We might have to make some potions real quick. Oh, baby. Okay, we only need to make, like, one or two potions to sell. We'll probably get that done and do that tomorrow and then buy the potion. First, let me put out our other- our, our cauldrons again. Just cause- might as well. And let's see what we can brew. Let's brew two potions. Just need something that'll make us good money. What if I use these? Because I could always buy more. Dwarf Kraken and Static Spiderling. And then some of these. Okay, it's unstable, so I need... Where's some blue? Blue... That's not blue. This is blue. Okay, can't brew. Okay, so not that one. How about that? Okay, it's 180, 180, 180. So there's a chance of losing a star. But honestly, I say we just go for it. I don't have any firewood, but it's fine. We're probably not going to be able to do this until tomorrow anyway. I'm just trying to make enough money. Alright, now we shall travel and just hang out with people. Who do we want to hang out with? Who haven't we hung out with in a while? Hmm. I don't think we've hung out with Quinn in a while. Or Muktuk. We'll hang out with both of them. Let's see. Oh wait, before I do that, 
Let's expand. Take this, 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 and this. Submit. Nice. Give me a day and I'll get some in stock. Cool, can we hang out? One, two. So that'll take two and then, yeah, make a mess. I hate to waste food. Much better to watch it go splat. <laughs> Quinn produces a sack of ingredients. From the smell, it's obvious these items have turned. Quinn, unbothered by the stench, roots around in the sack and finally produces a limp, decaying tentacle. Sylvia watches Quinn hurl the tentacle toward the ground below. After a long moment, it splatters against the dirt road. Quinn then holds the open sack out to Sylvia, who shrugs, then roots around for a tentacle of her own. Good time, Sylvia. I'm pretty sure that last fish hit terminal velocity, and a tourist. Sylvia feels a fair amount closer to Quinn and moderately less stressed. We love to see it. We can't hang out- oh my god, we still have so much stress. It's okay, we'll be fine. Uh, let's hang out with Muktuk. <laughs> uh, hang out, my good sir. Let's do some blacksmithing. The fire awaits. Muktuk has once more made room for Sylvia in his sled. He watches over her as she crafts another dagger, answering her questions but allowing her to take charge of the design and execution. It turns out all right. Your grasp of the fundamentals? Exceptional! Sylvia fears a fair amount closer to Muktuk and mo moderately less stress. Good. Trying to get rid of this shit. Ooh, it's so dark. Okay, we're down to 46. We can hopefully de-stress next time, but I do need to sell those potions once they're done. First, it's time to sleep. <laughs> Children, ugh, no thank you. We're working on it, man. We gotta get the potion cauldron first. So let's see what we can do. On the second day. Oh, no, no intro. Good, I don't want to be harassed by Anubia right now. Ground Shark Day, will a burrowing predator emerge to see its shadow, as terrifying as that prospect may be? Commoners and merchants can't afford to stay home. Increasing commoner customers, increasing merchant customers. Flower power, when evil spirits escaped cursed gems to possess flower gardens across Rafta, local heroes hacked and slashed their way to a peaceful resolution. I- that is an oxymoron. Gem ingredients will cost more, flower ingredients, essence, in essence ingredients will cost more. Ooh! Whoa, how did- wait, wait, what? How did that happen? Then I didn't even need to make those at all. Alright, well, you know what? That's good, because we need money for ingredients. So, how's it looking? It's probably not done yet. No, it needs four more. That's alright. Because now, we can travel and buy a cauldron. Which is good, because we need it. Oh, and we can rank up with Muktuk. We might as well do that, too. But first, let's get a cauldron. Arctic or Crater? I like the Crater one more, and it does more. They're the same price, anyway, so let's craft this. A superb choice. Thank you. Now let's rank up. Your business. It is appreciated. I'm glad for company. Sylvia, it is good that you are here today. Are you not, after all, a mistress of mixology? As a matter of fact, I am. That is excellent, for I have a great need of your talents. Come, let us bring color to this gray world. Muktuk fishes beneath his counter for tubes of paint, setting them out for Sylvia to see. He has white, black, and the three primary colors. I wish to make a particular shade of purple. If you do the stirring, I'll provide the pigments. Muktuk combines red and blue paint in a glass jar, then bids Sylvia to stir with a small brush. Tut, tis a plum color, far too much red. Muktuk adds blue, and Sylvia stirs. Periwinkle! I fear we have overcorrected. Not periwinkle! Muktuk adds more red, and then white. Then, fearing the result is too pale, he adds a dab of black. Heather! Lavender! Boysenberry! I only want mauve, Sylvia! Mauve! Is this too much to ask? Sylvia isn't sure exactly what mob looks like, but she can see they're going through a lot of paint. Maybe we should ask someone for a ratio. Yes, yes, of course. To continue down this path would be folly. But through mob has a... But though mob has eluded me, I shall not despair. For there is birdsong in the air, a hint of blooming flowers upon the wind, and... And... 
Oh, Sylvia, I am sorry, but I cannot continue this charade. The truth is I am unhappy this day. Oh no, what's the matter? We all have our down days. I'm sorry you're having one now. Your compassion is the very bomb my soul has been craving. So what got you down? I'm guessing this is about more than the pain. It is the work, Sylvia. The work weighs heavily upon me. The work? The great work, the masterpiece to which I am steered by my ancestors. It is at an impasse. I feel directionless and, well, I had thought to make request of you, but I find myself hesitant to even give it voice. You're cute when you're shy. I like the softer side of you. Sylvia, if you intend to see me blush. Well, you will find your efforts thwarted by my magnificent mustache. I still see it. Form and function, that's so you. I feel very seen in this moment, and it is exhilarating. But, <clears throat> back to the subject at hand, yes? Sylvia, I wonder if you would be willing to view my great work in progress. Under normal circumstances, I would never share a piece before it is done. However, I feel that your reaction as a fellow creator could be instrumental in guiding to my next step. Wow, no pressure. Prepare yourself for an aesthetic assault upon the senses the like of which Rafta has never seen. Prepare yourself. For Untitled. Maktuk presents a dubious looking statue. Oh. So, what do you think? Hmm. I feel like this is fake, but I don't want to say assault or is it a bird, so it says so much about modern walrus life. The tension between modernity and tradition. Quite a daring statement, actually. Hmm. Eh? Huh? I mean... Yes, yes, that's what I was going for, obviously. Still, it's only just beginning to take shape. The important thing for now is that I must not lose heart. There are always moments of doubt along the way, but in art, the only true mistake is to produce nothing. Now please, accept this token of my gratitude for your appraisal. A coupon? Decrease the cough of- I should have done this first! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> hey, now that's a thing of beauty! Thanks, Muktuk! And thanks for sharing your work in progress. I can't wait to see how it shapes up. I could have saved so much money. Wait, you must, for genius cannot be rushed. You know what can be? My dumbassery. Alright, it was nice to hang out with you. Let's go hang out with someone else. Who haven't we hung out with? Let's do saffron and then salt and pepper. Uh, Because then our potion will be done and we should get to selling and get to crafting. Bye, Muktuk. All right, let's, ooh, let off steam. Let's do just one, because we're still kind of stressed out. I have something a little unusual in mind. Sylvia follows Saffron deeper into the woods. The trees grow thick here, and curtains of vines slow their progress. Finally, they come to a shrouded grove. It is utterly silent and still, until... Ah! Sorry if I startled you. Meditation and quiet contemplation have their time and place. But sometimes a person just needs to scream. Try it now if you like. I'm recording this at 6 in the morning. So, okay, thank god. Sylvia feels a fair amount closer to Saffron and moderately less stressed. Wake up all my neighbors with guttural screaming. Sorry, I was just meditating. <laughs> Alright, um, that's two. So let's go back and get those potions real quick. And set out our new one. Oh yeah, we might be able to sell them and be ready for the next day. So let's check our brew. Bottle. They're, they're not the best, but who gives a shit? I will soon, but you know. I'm just trying to get money. And let's see, customization. We need our crater cauldron. Ooh, it looks so pretty. And just for funsies, let's see if I can actually make anything. We have one that's just blue and purple, but I don't know how many blue ingredients I have. The other ones might be more feasible. So let's see. Um, do I have- how much purple stuff do I have? Uh, not- not a lot. 
not. It's always purple, isn't it? Um, but we could do maybe red, green, and purple for superior insight enhancer. A common insight enhancer. What else have we got that's green? Okay, that's green and blue. Red and purple. More purple. Let's see, green, purple. And where do I have more green? I need some big boy green. I don't have any big boy green right now. Oh, I do have that, but that's, ah. All right, let's not waste any ingredients right now. We'll save all of that for next time. When we can actually try and make something, because we know what we need. So I don't want to waste stuff right now. But it looks like we definitely need to buy purple and green. At least to start off with. Let's arrange some potions. They're not good, but who cares? And let's open the shop. It costs two time slots. So we have just enough me thinks. I tripped over three pirates on my way here. They're always underfoot. Well, they're cats. Let's make a deal, but best be quick about it. Alright, elevator pitch. Uh... <laughs> this isn't gonna- Oh god, this is not going good. Okay, you're a busy professional. Let's just close the deal. Gotta run, but thanks. Take care. Come on up. I'm glad you're still in business. Hope we could come to an agreement. Okay, you have 12. That's far better. Alright, and turn. I know you're stressed. It's okay. We're almost out. Do you accept coupons that I just drew on a napkin? You know right where to hit me. Okay, let's see. Uh, barrage. Uh, meditate. We need to do this. And then raise interest by 20. Absolutely. Good enough. Uh, close deal. Done. Things are looking up. Thanks for your business. Come on up. It's too late in the day for small talk. Hi, Quinn. I don't even recognize the ingredient that went into this. Honestly, I don't either. I was just desperate, okay? Elevator pitch. We'll do a strike now. Uh, and turn. Too steep for what it is and we both know it. You don't have to call me out like that, Quinn. You have a shield! Uh, how do I break through that shield? Uh, let's see. There we go. Uh, and casual conversation. Uh, and then let's close the deal. Done. I'll take it. No take backs. <laughs> Thanks for your business. That's all of them for now. Whew. That's another day done, but you know what? We actually got a good amount of money, and while we spent a lot more money, it was for a good reason. This time, we have the cauldron right away, so we can use it, and we can make some good potions. We have the superior silence cure, two green, one yellow, one purple, superior tolerance, one blue, one purple, superior insight enhancer, four red, three green, three purple. I would like to do the inside enhancer first if we can, just because it seems like the most complicated, and then we can go from there. We only have one cauldron, so we need to make every day count, and we're probably gonna hang out with people and try and de-stress and prepare for the competition, try and make sure that we actually make these potions without, like, getting all of the bad side effects, because that really made it difficult for us last time. Maybe we could get some good ones, who knows? We'll figure about all that next time, but until then, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourselves, admire some modern walrus art, and have a good day.